just happened. Good morning. Good morning. I, I hope you can see and hear us. Our software got updated, and um, so something was wacky. But that's the Cheers to You show. Just so you know, we are not we are not late. We've been sitting here. We were actually here. on time. We were very much on time. It's... Uh, I don't know. Are we even on? I, I'm looking. I hope so. I hope we are. So good morning. Good and morning to all of you. And thank you for your patience yeah. while we figure this out. Believe it or not, it's different every single time. It makes absolutely no sense, you especially see it. to me, because I, I don't know anything about any of this. But it is literally different and challenges her every, every single time. time. It's not like you just click the button every week and, and there you are. And it works like it always did. No. Well, today no. is also different for another reason. Do you know why? I know you're going to tell me. Why? <laughs> it's my daddy's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Shall we sing, Julie Cash? We shall sing. <clears throat> we shall sing to <clears throat> Joe. La, 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 la. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Beyonce. <laughs> Queen B over here. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday, Dad. 29 um, again. He is. Well, I'm trying to pull um, this show up on Facebook. So hopefully you guys are seeing us, but it won't even come up on my phone. So hopefully you guys are out there. <laughs> hopefully we're talking to somebody other than I hope the wall. So. I'm going to try to check. Well, tell me how your weekend was. Oh, my goodness. While I'm looking at this. A lot's going on. It's that time of year. You know, once Labor Day hits, all hell breaks loose. You know, oh, I hope it's, uh, it's just, it's busy. It's busy, busy. And uh, gosh, it's already Thanksgiving week and Christmas is right around the corner. And Merry Christmas. I think, thanks, Brandon. Oh, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Um, yeah, Christmas is right around the corner. Things have, it feels like things have started moving faster and faster. Yeah, and look at the trees out here. They're, They're quite beautiful. lovely. They're still not the red of that picture that you showed. No, well, I don't know that we ever get that down here. But um, hey, it's it's cold up there, so I'm good. I'm good. I'm good with this. And my, I like this color. So. My sister sent me a picture last week of her front yard, and they had like eight inches of snow. Oh my gosh! In Connecticut, and then it poured rain, so they had eight inches of cement. Slush. Oh, yeah. that stuff is heavy. That's horrible. Heavy and nasty. Yeah. So well, tell me what you have on your needles. Well, I have finished my stockings. Okay. And they are going to go in the mail. So Cute. I'm thrilled to have these done. These are a wedding gift. Oh, I love these little, are they French, little French knots? knots. Yeah. yeah. So I've got them down here Cute. too. Cute. They're on her, the holly leaves. They're yeah. like the holly berries. Flip that one over. His name is Boink. on the front. There yeah. Maddie and Joe got married in September. But what are you going to do with Cute. a Christmas stocking in September? So I'm sending them. I'll probably send them, you know, next week. I love them. When everybody's decorating their houses for Christmas, it's nice to have new, some new stockings. And is they're up teal in Vermont. Feather? It is teal feather. Yeah. Which, um, One of my yeah, faves. unfortunately, Mel and Brigo did not have in stock. Um, <gasps> oh, they do. I know. I'll talk to you about that later. Ooh. Anyway, it's wah, a beautiful wah, wah. color. I know. Yeah, it's this. That's Teal yeah. Feather. Teal Feather from Malabrigo. Um, pattern again is on the Cascade website. It's the Cascade 220 Christmas stocking. It's free. And, it's a great um, pattern. It's a great pattern, and you can customize it. Now, the gingham is not on there. If you need the gingham template, let me know. I'll, I'll send that to you. She'll knit um, it up for you. Yeah. No, no, I won't <laughs> be doing that. Here you go. So that's that. And then these are the, um, Lance, or the Colorscape Myths. I like um, those. By Margie. These, Ooh, and those are fingering weight. Yeah, oh, it's I all like fingering. Those. There's six colors in there. She actually sells kits for these, see. but um, see, I like the weight of that. Yeah. Wow. This is good for like this time of year. Yeah, and especially here. down here. Yes. And the great thing is, you leave your glove on in the car. You know, you can be on your phone. You can do whatever yeah. you have to do. I was notorious for taking off a glove, putting it in my lap getting out of the car and dropping it gloves yeah. in the parking lot so this way the, the no. glove stays on you can go through the grocery store or the bank or do whatever you I have to like do. that and and yeah so those are these are kind of cute and I had <clears throat> all these colors in my stash I could probably make 
50? <laughs> yeah, 50 bears. <laughs> yeah, maybe something like that. And then one of my dear old friends, Kimmy, up in Connecticut, had a terrible fall. Oh, uh, it's actually good. kind of a funny story. I won't go into it, but it included dog food and a mouse. And um, <laughs> she had a terrible <laughs> fall. Okay, wow. So she had to have, she broke her wrist. She had to have surgery. Oh. She's got this terrible scar. Oh. And so she asked me to just do something. To you keep know, it to, warm? Yeah, kind to of, kind of cover yeah. up the scar. It's kind of ugly. So just some ah, short little mints. This is alpaca. Cute. And then I'm making her another one. Is that fingering weight also? No, this is a DK. This oh. is, the, again, out of the stash. Oh, yeah. However, yeah. this is hedgehog DK. That's good. And this one I'm not going to put oh. the thumb in. This is just like a wrist See, that color. I love that color. Yeah, I can't. It's not copper. No. Any? Sage, That's somebody else's. Maybe? Yeah, I think is it is. It's a sage from... Um, from uh, Hedgehog Fiber. So a DK weight on a size, I think I'm on a size five needle, like 50, 52 stitches, something like that, just I around and that. around. That just color so, is just so it'll cover up her yeah. scar. Um, and I'll get those off to her. So kind of nothing major. And then I'm still working on my um, Attitude of Gratitude. Actually, I yeah. haven't picked that up in a little while because I've been working on this other stuff. But I think it's my surprise. Attitude of Gratitude is going to go with Oh, really? These. Well, it's those colors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's right? pointing to the swancho over there. My swancho. Yeah. So that'll go up uh, north to some lucky recipient. Um, okay. Probably my sister. So Brandon said, it was once explained to me. He didn't say it in this accent, I'm pretty sure. However, since I've been watching Game of Thrones, it was once explained to me that we don't get that color because it doesn't get cold enough. That's right. That's right, and when they have Indian summer up there that lasts too long, then they don't get the color up there oh. either. And when I was up there in October, I was remember I was disappointed because there wasn't enough color yet. Yeah, and it was because it had been a warm fall so far, but now the cold has it's kicked in. It's beautiful out now. And by the way, you're probably going to hear the guy blowing the leaves. Oh yeah, they're it's, out there. It's Tuesday, everybody. <laughs> Welcome it's to Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Well, um, so I. I'll show you what I'm working on. So we have a stack of flags, plastic boxes next to us. We do. <laughs> so we going? this is the sweater I'm working on. This is not going to end up being the piece that I wear, but this is now a sketch, and I'm going to play with the this embroidery. This is fun. On. Yeah, it's cool. I'm 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 back to the drawing board a little bit. What but color not is bad. this? Is this that is rainwater from oh, Madeline this is Tosh. Madeline Tosh. Oh, I and love that. And let me just that. tell you, this color. Uh, so it has shades wow. of gray, shades of like a, almost like a brown. slate blue. There's brown in there. I love that. And there goes our long guy with the blower. That is you can gorgeous. See. There's a lot more going on in that gray than just gray. That anyway, is really pretty. So and this I is love coming. all this. Yeah, yeah. it's going to look, it will look much like this, but this is not the finished product. Anyway, this is what we uh, we refer to as a sketch. So I'm doing a little bit of changing. And then, um, well, I have to tell you a story. So I knitted on that sweater. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Brandon said, that's better than my accent. Um, thank you. I, I happen to like Tyrion. If you watch Game of Thrones, uh, pretty oh, awesome. Oh, we're in that mode. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so Sunday, Sherry and I went and met a bunch of um, friends at uh, Boudreaux, which is a Cajun restaurant down in Noda in Charlotte in the Arts District, oh, or fun. formerly the Arts District. Now it's more sort of boutiques and bars and stuff. Um, but we met a group of people there. Here they are, these lovely people. And um, I used to climb with the guy in the baseball cat and baseball cat, baseball hat. Yes. I don't even know what a baseball cat is. And the guy um, who's leaning in, Dave, who's right at the front of the picture, and then Sherry's peeking out from behind him. So we went and sat with them, and um, I knitted on the sweater. And then yesterday, we went walking behind our house. So um, this is the That's woods pretty. behind our house. And yeah, it was just a nice like a walk in the woods. Well, all of this and your photos I, I contemplated sharing this next picture. I am going to share it. Let me go back here. So the awesome chick in the hat in yeah. this picture has a pet. And you sent me a picture of Casapinka's yes. yeah, cat, which we will share in a moment. Well, this um, awesome girl showed me that she actually, she didn't knit it. She wove a sweater. Oh, my. 
Oh my God. For her snake. Okay. Well, and it actually, truthfully, just to be fair, it was actually a tunnel. Like the snake just crawled into, it's her pet. And the snake crawled into the thing and then she- How big is this snake? How long is this thing? It, it has to be big. I mean, look at it. And I don't even know what kind of snake that is. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's a ball python. I don't know if that's true. I don't know diddly about snakes. So feel free to correct don't, me, you guys. Don't wanna know, <laughs> I'm not a snake person. Um, so anyway, we kept- But that is kinda cute. It's kinda cool. So um, we went walking in the woods and um, so, we saw this is actually up in our yard but this is I the still, one i still have roses blooming these are um camellias oh okay i, I had to ask sherry because i always confuse them with gardenias but camellia so that was yeah. blooming even my um my coneflower and my geraniums are still blooming it's that's still that's actually pretty odd for here so oh is it it's pretty late right now yeah huh so I also saw Ooh, what these. Is that? It's a it's, it's a, a type of it's a fungus. Yeah, it's a it's. Um, that is very cool. You ready for my bad joke? I'm liking this mushroom. Get it? Lichen. It forest. looks anyway. like it should be underwater. I know it looks like coral. Yeah. And then this is another kind of mushroom that was down in our um, down in our woods. And I want you to look at as I was looking at all this stuff, not only the, the textures, yeah, the colors are amazing. I wonder where that green comes from. I don't know the answer to that question. I would love to know some That's professor at UNCC could tell us. So just quickly I'll peruse through. We've Aww. got a lot of wildlife in our yard. This little guy was on our back deck one time. This next one was on the driveway at a house that I used to live in. Um, and I'll show you why this all matters. Frog. He is. <laughs> is he? Isn't he the cutest thing? He, he blended yeah. into the driveway and I almost stepped Look at his on little him. Look toes. I know, he's so cute. And then this was actually in our yard Aww. a while ago. But I show all of this to you and the next picture I'm gonna share with you because um, there are some fun things to knit and I, in going through my stash, I. What is that? So this is a puff ball. This is from Wikipedia, this picture. I had pictures of the puffballs in our forest, but like I- Like one of those, things, like if you step on and the smoke comes out? It goes out. poof, yeah. yeah, and the stuff all comes out the top. Well, <laughs> in the course of going through my, um, let me find our camera shot again, there we go. In the course of going through my um, stash yesterday after being out in the woods, I came across something that Sherry lovingly refers to as knitted horse poop. It is not. It's actually knitted. Um, <gasps> it's <laughs> it's actually well. Sherry, you got it. No, it's crocheted, <laughs> felted, and painted, and and it's puff balls. <laughs> I'm an artist. I do I do weird stuff, but it's puff balls. So, oh my god! And actually, I painted the insides of the puff balls too. So they're they look just like what you would find down in our woods. <laughs> you can't wear this. No. I mean, but, but. And yeah. what do you do with that? Well, I'll show you. So that made me look and say, hey, does anybody else have, um, <laughs> does anybody else have uh, knitted or crocheted um, fungi? Fungi. And actually, let me see if oh, I can did, add. Um, what did you go on Instagram? Um. No, I actually let me let me pull this up real quick and go to. You okay. never know; it's always a surprise. Let me see if I can get. <laughs> it's always an adventure with okay. Lydia. Okay, <laughs> so this is. Um, I found this artist. Her name is Lee Martin. Let me go up to the top here. This is her website, and the website is Lee Martin Art, um, and she she did fifty two forms of. Uh, fungi, uh, creative exercise. And she actually put these in situ, which means she went out, put these things in the forest, which makes me want to do that with my horse poop. Um, oh, so, look at those. Yeah, I so love she those. puts them out in the woods and actually um, photographs them where they would grow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I think they're pretty incredible. We don't have anything that looks quite like that. So you'll have to go and look, because see, oh. see, I'm not <laughs> so crazy after sister. all. Yeah, there's a little That's mushroom cool. cap that almost looks like a burl. 
And this looks like something that um, Anna Karakovic would yeah, do. Yeah. There, I feel like there should be a gnome sticking out yeah. of this. So that's... Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, that's cool. Yeah, it was just, it was fun to see that somebody else does weird things like me. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I have on the needles, along with um, Zachary's socks. So when we went to the um, to Boudreaux, and then we went to a brewery afterward, but when we were getting ready to go and I needed my knitting, oh my gosh, I became horrifically myopic. I could not find that little bag of yours that that little bucket yeah. the small one with zach socks in it do you know that later when i looked it was smack like right, right in, in front, front of, of my face yeah so i panicked and i took the sweater instead <laughs> so and then found it well and then found, found the it. socks yeah so this weekend i um went up to I went up to the mountains out in the middle of nowhere. Oh. You kind of like you can't even put this address on GPS because it doesn't even exist. That's my so this kind is, of address. This is my friend Kathy. She built a house up in the mountains. She's not far from Boone. Yeah. And uh, she did this last year, and again this year, she invites her girlfriends up and makes us a luncheon, lovely oh, lunch. Oh, I love that. And um, then she purchases live wreaths that were, had just been made and sets up a table and we decorated them i was waiting for you to say live lobster no i wish and so here we all oh, are we all made our, that. our Let wreaths me zoom in to see you there with your and got to check out the view behind us which is pretty spectacular that is we had how so fun. much fun so this was the second annual um wreath that, yeah look at that view of hers that's what you see up the back of the house i mean it's all wow glass and that is really it's pretty. really pretty I've been up there a number of times. It's not a huge house. It's just, it's lovely. It's beautifully done. And there's a lot of outdoor living space. Oh. But um, she set some tables up in the garage and we plugged in the glue guns and um, I made a ton of bows and I made bows for everybody. Nice. <laughs> Are you surprised? Shocked. And uh, so that was really, really, really fun. That's fun. And then fun. on Saturday we moved uh, Pierce down to Rock Hill. Oh, like, man, that was fast. Well, he's actually, the movers are there today. We moved a bunch well, of stuff. Well, but I mean, wow, well, once they said, come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he starts on Monday. So her son um, got a new job, and literally, I think it was like, what, a week and a half or two ago? He got that job that and we moved talked? within two wow. weeks. Yeah. That's, well, you know what? He's that's single. Awesome. It was an apartment. I mean, it, yeah. But Rock Hill is cool. Good we went him. to the pump house down there. Have you been oh, to that on the no. Catawba River? Have you heard of that? No, but the it's guy... It's very cool. So Pierce, if you happen to see the show, this guy here on the left in the baseball cap, that's my friend Greg who lives in Rock Hill. That's oh, right, the one right, that right. I was I was telling so, you about. you know the velodrome? Is that how you say it? I don't it? know Rock Hill. Like, oh. I, well, you know one of those bicycle things? Sure. Where they race bicycles. Okay. Well, he lives right across the street. <laughs> I still don't know what that is, but okay. Really? No. You would never see one of those? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. it's like a bowl. It's literally like a cement bowl. All I can think of is in the circus when they have that wire ball, or it's not it, wire, it's like a yeah, metal ball, and yeah. the guy's in the, on the BMX bikes or whatever. Yeah, it's not that small. It's bigger than that. Yeah. But, yeah, Rock Hill is kind of cool. It's actually in South Carolina, so it'll be about an hour away from That's us. not that. I mean, that's, that's easy hey, to get to. Hey, it's not California. Yeah, exactly. So I'm okay Good with for that. him. Congratulations, so that So that was cool. So yeah, I, yeah, I had a I had a, a busy, a busy, busy weekend. Um, and... I've noticed that our customers are coming in, you know, thinking about like travel knitting and yes. gift giving. I call it panic knitting. And well, <laughs> not yet. Minute. It will be soon. Yeah, Wednesday it will, will be, be soon. Panic so knitting. I have a couple of um, pictures. Uh, the Rasta mitts. Let's see. If one, there was one picture that when I opened up this morning didn't show up, and I wasn't sure what it was. Is this let's, the Rasta mitts? Yeah, let's try that. So this, these are my Rasta mitts. Is that this the Rasta mitts? Yep. Let me zoom it in so they can see. There was a close-up of it, but I don't know where it is. That may have been the one that dropped off. So this is one of my patterns on Ravelry. It can be done with Rasta or the new stuff we got from Ba. Oh, which is gorgeous. Oh it's my gosh. It's on a 15 double point and you can make one mitt in like 45 minutes. It's so really these cool. are really, really quick. Those are cute. So Rasta Ready is on. Good um, gift. Ravelry, great gift for the dog groomer or the hairdresser. I did that last year. <laughs> and then um, what kind of sparked this was, you know, I followed this woman. Um, she's out of Sweden. California. Oh, 
wait, is this the one whose husband is the, the king of Camaborne? Yes. 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 Exactly. So yes. she posted these. They're little cute. ornaments, aren't they, darling? She's oh my gosh, post- those are really cute. Really cute. I think they're like three inches. They're really tiny. I like those. Um, but she hasn't posted the picture yet, or the pattern yet. However, I do have a little pattern for um, a mini some mitt. mitts. Some little ornaments mini if you mittens. want to whip these up. These are great to like throw on the outside of a gift or... If you need a hostess gift and you're bringing a bottle of water, wine, a bottle of water, a bottle of wine <laughs> to a party, you can just tie those on or something. They're, they work up really quick and you can <clears throat> awesome. use scraps from your stash and that sort of thing. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, and then I had somebody who was traveling and wanted to make a pair of socks. Your sock pattern is awesome. This is also a free pattern on Ravelry. It's Button Jar's basic sock. It is as basic as basic can be, as you know. Mm -hmm. It is top down or cuff down on double points, but if you like magic loop or you you like two two at a time. Or you can do, absolutely. You can do however. Either way, but it's a free pattern on my Ravelry page, so jump on there. It's a good experimenting pattern. Throw some some socks on the needles or in the car or in the plane or or whatever, and then they can end up in somebody's um, on somebody's Christmas list. Uh-huh. So this was on Instagram. <laughs> I this saw is, this before uh, yeah. you sent it, and I thought, oh my gosh, that is hysterical. So Casa Pinka, who uh, has been on the show, and uh, <laughs> so here's here's Kitty. Here's Kitty, and then here is Kitty's leg. Kitty Boo Boo's leg warmers. <laughs> With cables, no less. Oh, Kitty Boo Boo. With cables. I thought that was a riot. That is so cute. Especially because she is just absolutely sporting them. You know, she is. She looks happy. She looks very happy and comfortable. She's like laid back. She's totally modeling for Queen the, of the world. Yes, exactly. Um, and she did say that uh, she was going to make those available in her ebook, Casa Panka. Wait, I think I saw. Didn't she? Did she send an email that she had an ebook? I feel like I got an email about her ebook, so it might actually be out already. Yeah. Um, A couple of things that came in. Oh, I saw that yesterday. Yay! It's like Christmas in here sometimes when the The FedEx guy or the UPS guy comes. So you haven't looked at this yet. I I actually did. I peeked in the back, and you know what's in there? I might buy it. Well, the patterns. It's not just the patterns. Um, I don't buy it just for the pictures. I read the articles. But, I think I've heard that before. <laughs> but, um, well, this is yarn porn. Anyway, um, there is an article in there on um, knitting's uh, ability to help keep our mental acuity strong and stave off things like dementia and Alzheimer's. Yep. And the article just, they, they frequently put um, articles in there that, I mean, everything in there is thoughtful, it's but... Beautiful. They put articles in there that are not only thoughtful, but thought provoking, and I think poignant, frequently poignant. Everything in here. It's the beautiful. Ads. Is this it? No, uh, no, that's no, Nora Gone. It's one oh, more. Oh, so Nora Gone is, um, um, oh, here. Because I want them to see the illustration there. I mean, that, and I love illustration, so that is gorgeous. They use a lot of hand illustration work in this is it book. Focusing? Yep, you got it. The book is gorgeous. So the come in and grab it. The whole thing is beautiful. This it, is a buy and keep or buy and, and read and yeah, gift. You don't yeah. recycle this. No. You keep this. It's more like a, buying a book. It is. It's like yeah. buying. And the same thing like with like the making magazine or, yeah. you know, there's a number of them out there. You do, you pay a little bit more for them, but they are something They're you, keepers. you keep, you put them in your library. Yeah. And we've um, got what, 10 this of those? Is, this is independently put out. Right? In, are they out of Vermont? They're independent, which is why um, it's done the way it's done. I mean, so. even the ads in here, you know, they obviously photograph them their, themselves, and they're just, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely beautiful. The, the books always have incredible continuity. They're gorgeous. It's, it's yeah. lovely. So, yeah, I think we have 10 or 12 of those. We don't have many. So. And we didn't get, I don't, I don't know why, but there's an, an accompanying book that was supposed to have come. Oh. Uh, knits about winter. That volume has not come in yet. I'm gonna have to call and figure out. What is that like a that. hardcover book or something it's like that? It's that. It's it's like that, but oh. it's it's just Actually, winter. Actually, I think I might have seen. 
There was something, something in there, in there about, it, about it, but we didn't get those yet. So if you want pom pom, come in, um, and yep. I'll find out what's going or on. Or we'll ship it to you. Winter. Yeah. If you're if you're yeah, not at us. if you're not local, just give us a give us a call here at the shop. We can send it. We're your happy way. to happy to ship it to you. So that came in. We also got in our hand dyed embroidery floss. Ooh, I have a picture. Wait, that is just I did have a picture. Beautiful. That might be the one that. Oh no, here it is. It's lovely. So we posted this on Instagram. I I told my mom I have never seen hand dyed embroidery floss before. It's gorgeous. And wow, it is. Oh, here's FedEx. Look, scent is here. Scent is here. I, Chat with them. I'm going to go grab that. It'll be interesting. She also ordered the DMC, correct? Yeah. Which is, so it'll be interesting be to um, to put the DMC up against the um, the hand dyed stuff. It's the colors and the shades. They're just they're really really pretty. And where are they out? They're out of North Carolina. Yeah, Garner. I don't know where that is, but Garner, no, North Carolina, of east of us. Oh, where did he go? No, he's in the back of his stand is in his truck. Yeah, we have this great um, FedEx guy. He's the sweetest. He's just the sweetest guy. He's so Kyle friendly and. Terry at FedEx. And oh, his name is Terry. Okay. Anyway, um, so that came in, and then we do have the old rusted chair trunk show. Only a couple of um, of garments, but oh my gosh! And this kind of matches what I have on. <laughs> no, I pulled that me. one. This is my favorite color, by the way. They are beautiful, and her names are the names of her stuff is really fun too. Oh, did I ask her this last week, Lauren? If you are watching, is um, "float on" a reference to Modest Mouse? I hope that it is. And those of you is. watching, it's a band that oh. is awesome. Oh, if she loves Modest Mouse, she's even more awesome. Bijou, which is interesting. I used to have an Afghan named Bijou before midnight. Gorgeous shade. I mean, the color is so rich. Goblet green, which matches what I'm wearing. I think Santa's trying to find our stuff. Sa Ooh, that does match your top. Yeah. Turn it up. Zazzle. Zazzle. Just fun stuff. She, she, her, her things are different. They are. are. I are love them though. Which and they're I, great to which add Which I in. love. Yeah. So this, Do you have some in there? Well, a little. So this is like the most ridiculous fady stripe in the history of baby stripes but down in the bottom of this i have this color which is last call it just it's just a it's great really color. pretty it's really really pretty yeah. fun so uh Garner's near we, how long do we have oh okay oh, oh sherry <laughs> sherry said we need another boo-boo kitty uh-oh we're not getting another <laughs> kitty yet but we will we will but yeah, not yet. Um, how long do we have the trunk show? The uh, rusted old rusted Until chair. Until December something. Oh, okay. So we still have it for another couple weeks. I think so. Or yeah, <laughs> I think so. We will figure that out. Yeah. We'll get back to you. Yeah. But again, we're happy to ship. Uh, if there's something you want, uh, four dollars shipping for what under a hundred dollars? Yep, and free over a hundred bucks. Can't beat that. Yeah. Can't beat that. Um, so, do you have anything else to talk about? I do. Um, and you had a few more pictures. Well, yeah, I thought I'd save that till the... This? Yeah. Okay, saving it for the end? Yeah, like the CBS Sunday morning show, how they leave you with the wildlife. Oh, is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's Terry. Terry Excuse is. me. Santa's here. Chat. Santa's here. Yay, Who knows Santa. what he's got? Always, always something fun, Santa. though. Good morning. We're live on uh, Facebook. Come say hello to everybody so they can put a face with a name. <laughs> so this is Terry. There's the camera. Say good morning. Morning. And thank you to FedEx and thank you to Terry because he's always awesome. We thank, love him. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for the business. You're welcome. We appreciate it. Yeah. We called you Santa just now because yeah. every time we bring stuff, you know. <laughs> well, I apologize yesterday for being so late, but I couldn't. Even couldn't even get your packages. You are it's all okay. right. It's I was okay. So, today's a better day. Today's a good day. <laughs> yes, it happy is. Happy Tuesday. And happy right. Thanksgiving to you, yeah, Terry. Thanks, too. No, Terry. what's your schedule? Uh, closed on Thanksgiving. By the way, y'all, closed just, Thanksgiving yeah. day, and that's it. Just that day. Yeah. Awesome. That day. Well, y'all have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you, Thank see you. You, you too. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good one. So, yeah, we've got actually, um, thank you for that segue, Terry, from FedEx, <laughs> because we have a few things coming up. Um, <laughs> Sherry said she wants a cat so she can knit her leg warmers. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you seriously are gonna knit leg warmers for a cat, then maybe we'll get a cat. Um, okay, so here is a muy importante thing. How cute is that? Thanks. Um, we will be closed on Thursday, November 22nd. So just to let you know that, and then- But Black Friday <clears throat> and Black Friday, uh, Small Business Saturday, you'll be here. Yes, and we will be open Black Friday, 10 to six. We will be open Small Business Saturday, 10 to five, and we will be celebrating Small Business Saturday. We hope you'll come and see us. Um, but even if you aren't in our area or you can't make it in, please just pay a visit to a small business on yep. Small Business Saturday. Um, actually, small businesses make up a super huge chunk of our nation's economy, more than you would know. So, it, And without yeah. them, uh, I wouldn't have a job, for one thing. Well, I wouldn't you know, have... You wouldn't either. I wouldn't have this job. I'd have some <laughs> other job. And I love this job. I love this place. I love working with you and Sarah. And, and we are in it's a great area here of a lot of... I mean, we do have some, some bigger businesses, some chains, but... A lot of these businesses are in here are mom and pop, mom and pop, yeah. and uh, those businesses are, are are really important. I mean, our kids go to school with your kids, and you know we're standing next to you in the line at the grocery store. So um, that sounds a little creepy. We're everywhere. <laughs> we are everywhere. <laughs> we're everywhere. Um, so yeah, definitely support your small businesses in your t in your area. Yeah, please do. Because, so. Yeah. We've got two other things coming up. Well, we have another thing coming up, and then I have something coming up. Ooh. So um, we oh, have yeah. this coming up. On Saturday, December 8th at 1030, please come to the shop and join us. Um, Jack Grossman is an author. I know him from years and years ago. Um, he uh, is a phenomenal man. He wrote a book about a Holocaust um, survivor. Um, and this, um, I'm chuckling because Sherry said, you agreed to get me a cat and now it's documented oh. on the show. That's great. Um, she really wants that cat. <laughs> she does want the cat. But Jack Roseman did this story about this Holocaust survivor who is a, just a phenomenal inspiration. And, um, the story, uh, tracks her through all kinds of experiences. Jack will be here with his book that was just released. You can get it signed. It's a great gift. And he'll have copies here. Oh, yeah. He'll be selling the copies here. He'll be reading. So bring your stitching and come and sit. How often do you get to knit with an author reading to you? That's awesome. So that's Saturday, December 8th. December 8th. And Jack Grossman. From like 1030 10 30 to, 12 to noon. or something yeah. like that. And Jack is amazing. In 2010, he actually um, suffered a, I think he called it a stem stroke but a stroke that left him almost completely paralyzed on his left side. And he has um, bounced back from that remarkably. He's a phenomenally inspiring man. And on top of it, this book of his is being eyeballed by um, some folks of the Hollywood ilk. Oh, for yeah. A movie. So it will very likely be made into a movie. So oh, um, cool. come and get a copy of the book and get it signed because it's an amazing, amazing story. And he's an amazing man. Well, I talked to him you on the to phone. It was very friendly, very nice. Oh, he's Can't great. Can't wait to meet him. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. So then it is also time, ladies and oh, gentlemen, yeah. <laughs> for Lady Anne's the annual cookie. cookie adventure. So this is Those are a, all cookies. <laughs> yeah, this is a picture. It was either last year or the year before. Um, let me see if I can give you the Look at that full. table. So here's the beginning of the table, and then we're going to scoot it down. Unbelievable. Just so you can see like how long this table was. This will be my fourth year doing the cookie walk at North Mech High School. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that I'm not the Martha Stewart of parents. I, I just like, you know, being the um, bow making, package <laughs> wrapping, cookie baking mommy has not always been, it's not necessarily. It's okay. It takes all kinds to make um, this world go around. It does. However, I committed four years ago to do the cookie walk every Christmas because it it, they, it gives cookies to the teachers and then all the staff. So the um, people who work in the cafeteria and the That's bus awesome. drivers and the maintenance folks and everybody who keeps the school running. Who work full time. Yeah. yeah, and who don't catch a break a lot of the time. So um, yeah. Now you don't make those cookies. You make <laughs> some cookies. So Brandon said, you're a better artist and knitter than Martha. Um, Thank you for that. Um, 
I, I just, yeah, I'm lacking skills in some areas, including, including making angel hair pasta. Not good at that. Um, anyway, one minute in the water. That's well, the, all I get. Do you know what the problem is? I'm typically drinking wine when I'm doing oh, that. So go. I and you're you're a Julia Child cook. Actually, I probably <laughs> am. I really want to see that movie. By the way, I really want to see the movie with Meryl Streep. You never is saw it Meryl that? Streep? No. I oh my gosh! See it. You have to remind yourself that it's Meryl Streep. She she does such a good job. Does an amazing job. You truly think it is Julia? And I want to see the post about the newspaper. Oh, yeah, that was just okay. You're like, meh. It was okay. Okay, I mean, wow. she's awesome. But you know what we did see this what? past weekend? We saw the um, Freddie Mercury movie. Oh, I heard it was awesome. Well, I heard- It was very good. I heard if you are a monster fan, you'll have to verify this. If you're a monster fan of- um, uh, Queen. Queen, thank you. I kept, for some reason, Kiss was in my brain because we had a conversation no, about this Kiss. at the bar <laughs> on Sunday. Um, but if you're a monster fan, go see the movie in the theater. If you are not a monster fan, then wait and rent it. Opinion? Hmm. I am not a monster fan. Um, neither is D. And we thought it was fabulous. We we loved it. Of course, that music is amazing. Kind of our, you know, that those that's my high school soundtrack. You know, from the seventies. All I can hear right now is oh, I see a little silhouette of a man. Right. Yeah. Got a bush. Got a bush. Can you do the fandango? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God! If we could go on to do the <laughs> whole could. thing. Thunderbolts oh. and lightning. Yeah. Very very frightening. Oh. Galileo. Galileo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. But go see it. It was very very good. I, yeah. We loved it. We loved it. We thought it was great. I want to see it. Of course, we're big movie goers. We go, we go at like four o'clock in the afternoon, and then afterwards we'll go get a glass a of wine and a little appetizer and talk about the movie. Yeah. Enjoy a brief repast. We love that. Yeah, that's yeah, so our thing. Back into the accent, and then we'll—I promise—we'll let you go. But um, Sherry and I just started watching um, Game of Thrones. Well, I say we just started. We've been binge watched about the first four seasons in a week. And oh a half. my gosh. It is so good. Is it really? Oh my God. It's so good. And I always okay. thought it would be like, I know, meh, kind of dorky or whatever. No, it's good. Wow. It's really good. Okay. Um, so, on that note, so, shall we show yeah, them? So, yeah, so you know the CBS Sunday morning show? I love that show. And at the end of that show, they always leave you with wildlife. Like 60 seconds of wildlife. Are we life. not wild enough? We're not wild enough. So these are all from Instagram. Okay. And a lot of them came up last week when they were having the snow up, up north. So we're leaving you with some sheep in the snow. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay. So from Lady Anne. And Julie. This has been the, the Cheers, Cheers to You Show. show. Should we pa? <laughs> I love that one. I do too. Enjoy okay, you guys. Have a good one. Bye bye.